Okay, now that I've eaten a little bit of cheese pizza, still vegan. That's nice. Uh, well, no, it's not. But now that I've eaten a little and I've calmed down some, what you're looking at right here is a serious upgrade for Anonymous Friends bike. Now, we don't have the $200 or more that it would cost to replace this wheel, right? And this one is just, it's a better wheel than the one he has. By far, it's a DR, heavy duty. It's the same size, 26. It's got nine gears. It's, it's got 34 teeth on the big one, which is closer to his 40 that he wants, right? You know what I'm saying? But the whole point of the matter is this. Look at that, in the dumpster. It's broken. It's broken? You hear that? Is that cooking? Free up body's toast. Yeah, free up body's toast. Well, it's still gonna work. I'm gonna put it on and ride it. We're gonna put it on and find out. See, now that, that's the whole point here. This is the point. But right? for those of you, right, they're curious. Here, here, hold the camera. Look at the point. I started doing this. I've said this in three videos now. I started doing this four and a half years ago. As a bet, it was a dare. My anonymous friend gave me a camera, a six pack of some high grade motherfucking high, highly expensive fucking that beer and a challenge on my birthday. Gave me this little camera right here. The challenge was, I want to see you make, right, and upload 10 videos to YouTube, right, just to see if you could do it. Right, because this, this, this was at the point where I was just, I was really starting to get, we were really starting to get into internet marketing and a bunch of other stuff. Right? So I gave it a shot. Somewhere along the line, I actually got halfway good at it. And I liked doing it, and I enjoyed it, right? But all around me, our life was falling apart. Right? The woman that I thought loved me, it turned out she probably just came against me all the time. Right? My, be my best friend, my only friend, right? His fucking software company was going under quick, dude. They, they couldn't bail the wire out fast enough, right? Everything around me was falling apart, and I didn't have anything. And when I looked around, one day I looked up, and that was it. Right? It was like, fuck, here I am, homeless again. Right? So, the only thing I had left, the only thing that worked of value to me, the only thing that was working in my life was YouTube. Right? So I kept at it. I kept going. Right? Okay? And, and my, if you look at my channel, you can see the progression. If you go back through and you watch the videos from the beginning and you follow along the line, or if you just look at the playlist, and you will see the progression of how it went step by step by step, month by month by month, quarter by quarter. Right? The reality of it was is that my numbers on YouTube are steadily doing this. Up and up and up and up and up and up. It's the only thing I had that was working. It's the only thing I had that was doing any good for me. Right? So I kept at it and I kept at it and I kept at it. Right? Now, four and a half years later, here I am again homeless. A thousand miles, 1,600, 2,000, almost 2,000 miles into a journey, right, that I never expected to be on. Right, with my friend, my only friend, right, whose only skill is, right, is to be a programmer. And he's a damn good one. He's the best one I've ever seen, right? We're trying to get him in a position where he can get another one of them 150, 200,000, 400,000, half a million dollar fucking new jobs so that we can go on with our lives. But if we can't, we still have a plan on what it is we want to do. But until we get there, the only income that we have is YouTube, right? It's scrounging and hustling and finding whatever we can find, right? We don't have thousands of dollars. We don't have hundreds of dollars. Hell, we don't have fifty dollars. Fuck! I told you we spent our last dollar on the soda so that we could get out of the heat. But we're still eating. Look at this. Well, not just one, but two pizzas. And look, something. Yep. Church, tell me about church guy. Oh yeah. We were, we were scrounging at the church, our, our Lady of Guadalupe. And having some kind of a festival. We were scrounging in their dumpster. We found a little, a, a little small pack of, of, of six fucking potato tacos. And we were sitting there happily, happy we did it as like the first food, real food we found all day. We were sitting there happy eating away, lunching. And the seat guy, 
right, came walk, walking up with his daughter, and he looked at her, she smiled, I said, hello, and he said, hello. And he turned around, I turned back around, back to his head, and he said, hey, I said, what's that, Bubba? He said, hey, can I give you guys some croissants and some juice? He knew what we were doing, he knew we were eating out of the dumpster. But out of the kindness of his heart, he fucking reached out and he gave us something of his own. He popped open the lid on his Lexus hatchback, he pulled out a whole gallon of apple juice, brand new, and he gave me half of the croissants. And he gave me half of the croissants that he bought from Sprouts to bring to the book, to the little food festival. And he was happy about it. And he was he apologized to me because he couldn't do any more than that. You know what? That was way more than we ever expected him to do. We were happy just eating them tacos. They were homemade. They were good. Hell yeah, they were tacos. They fit, bro. Bro. That's the whole point. The whole point is this is all we have. Well, isn't it? You guys, you guys will all learn the hard way if you haven't learned it already. When you're happy with your portion, when you're happy with what you got, that's when all the extra stuff comes to you. When you're miserable, wanting a pile of shit you don't have, <laughs> everything you have and ever thought you'd have and wanted, it all goes away real fast. Yeah, you, be you become smog the dragon and fucking in the, in the trilogy, sitting on your hoard of treasure, waiting for somebody to come steal it or kill you. What you were doing. What I was doing. But once they took it all away from us, once they broke into our house and they stole all of our shit and I didn't have anything to put a bread over, anything to worry about, once again, if you go back, you'll see the, prog you'll see the progressive change in my channel and, where, and how I change directions. Right? Change directions again. Probably change directions again in another week, two weeks, three weeks, who knows? Who knows where we're going to end up? But the point is, is that we're out here doing what it is that we want to do the only way that we know how to do it. And that's one step at a time, forward, into the sunset. Remember that line from Peter Pan? Which way to Neverland, Peter? Second star to the left, straight on till dawn. Thank you.